All right, I'm here at the crazy League of Legends booth with Atlas and Spawn. How's it been going here with the tournament and everything? You've got quite an audience here, and it's been like that for the entire PAX this far. It's been ridiculous. We started off this sort of experience for the finals at EB Expo. The crowd was great, but it wasn't necessarily what we were expecting. Went over to Armour. The crowd was amazing. We were like, oh my God, we're going to have to stay in New Zealand because these guys are incredible. And now we're here at PAX, and this is the biggest League of Legends crowd I've ever seen in Oceania. And it's so amazing to see the progression that's happened over the last year only since our Riot actually came to stay. Well, we, we saw that Riot had this a similar booth at last year's PAX. Were you there for, were you there for that one? Uh, so I actually wasn't there at last year's PAX. I was in and out a little bit on the Saturday. But apart from that, wasn't really that interested. Um, whereas I think, Max, you were definitely there, weren't you? Yeah, I was there. I actually um, wasn't necessarily there as a cast. I was just there as an everybody else, just standing in the crowd, cheering on my friend um, uh, Dale, who was Hot Soggy Noodles at the time, who was playing for Hot Soggy Decimate in the final, and uh, watching him do the same misplay twice in a row after a game had to be remade. Oh, that was sad. That was sad. I'm, I feel sorry for him for re-bringing it up because it's a little bit difficult. But yeah, no, it was wonderful last year. This time, though, the amount of people that are actually here is just out of control. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's great that they've changed the venue to here. You get a lot more people flowing in from a lot of the other areas, a lot more people checking out League of Legends. Um, Chiefs no longer in it. They've been knocked out. So it's AG and uh, Legacy. Who do you think's going to take it? Um... It's so hard. I'm still reeling from what just happened, to be perfectly honest. I was not expecting the Chiefs to lose that game. Even though they had a gold deficit, I just felt like Radier had it. And as they were pushing up the lane, I'm like, oh, quick, got to get backstage so I can start talking about how the Chiefs just won. But no, it just gets turned around so perfectly by Legacy. I have no idea what can happen because I honestly thought that um, Avant-Garde was looking a little bit better. But after that performance... Legacy just seemed to be able to play through anything. And we know how good they are in a best of five. So, I, I just, I don't even. Yeah, kind of the same. I'm just a little bit shocked that the Chiefs ran what was a very good AOE composition and actually ran it into a fairly good lineup as well. I didn't think Legacy had any answers for it. So, from an analytical point of view, it was a very difficult game to watch close. But props to uh, Legacy, they definitely came out. I think Choo Choo's is their catalyst and they have two great shot calls in Carbon and Ejim. Uh, but I give it to AV. I actually think AV are probably the most smart team remaining in the tournament. I think Kensty, when he gets on champions like TF, just tear people apart. Um, and as a team, their rotations around the map and their movement is just so good to watch. And we saw what they were capable of today, so I think that they can carry it through. And There's also the fact that their bottom lane is unbelievably good. If they get in a 2v2 ever, they will win. And we saw exactly what happened today against the Direwolves. They got first blood in a 2v2 situation within the first four minutes. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. And it's important to note that like, whilst there can be people that you think are going to play well, anything can happen on the day. It's a best of five. We saw it with Legacy last time around when they won Winter. We've seen it with Direwolves today. They took a game handily. Legacy have just shown up in a best of three and absolutely destroyed arguably the best team. So anything could happen tomorrow and I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely going to be something to check out then uh, for tomorrow. Anyway, this is uh, Atlas and... Spawn. Spawn. There we go. I'm remembering. <laughs> it's definitely going to be going off. So, your guys, the League of Legends is where it's at tomorrow here at PAX. Thanks, guys.